YouTube. I'm going to try uh, a video showing here of doing a water barrel system off our sunroom. Uh, we've got two downspouts that fill us up here. We've been using just five gallon buckets, uh, rain harvesting as it comes down through the gutters, and we're able to get about 50 plus gallons just filling up uh, individually buckets. But after doing some research on YouTube, uh, I've come across about three or four different videos. I'm actually going to take ideas from each one of those and uh, set up my own system and just want to share that with those who are looking for ideas as well. And I have some 30 gallon barrels here that have uh, been donated to me for free. I uh, don't have permission so I'll just uh, call my friend Mr. B and thank him for those. And uh, some timbers to get me started making a stand. So. Um, we're going to start putting these together and, and see if this system I'm thinking of with these videos I've watched will help. Alright, now we got the, um, the stool, the bench for these water barrels made, and I guess we used those scrap 6x6s that Mr. B gave me, and used some 2x8 for the skirting around, and some 2x4s on top, and gapped it accordingly for the three quarter inch pipe that's going to be coming through on these 30 gallon as I'm going to use I actually turn these barrels upside down and use uh, the pipe coming from the bungs uh, downward and then make some on top or what would now be the bottom of the barrel so we'll, now that we got the, the bench made we'll go on to uh, actually doing the plumbing to these from the gutter to the barrels okay and here's our final result with the 30 gallon barrels. Um, as you can see up top here we got it connected with a, a downsize there coming off the gutter and coming down and what I did is incorporate this design I've seen from different YouTubes where the pipe is actually going to go directly in. I put a coupling unit on the bottom of the barrel so this can be pressed directly in without the screen so you don't have to worry about the insects and bugs, mosquitoes, um, hovering over that, so it goes directly in. Um, and also here, when we come down with the downspout, um, I didn't go let it go all the way to the ground, so the shorter distance it stopped, the quicker it could start backing up and going into the barrels. But at the same time, uh, for residue off the the roof, when it comes down, I've put a clean out valve down here at the bottom so um, as water gets stacked up about to the Y here there'll be that much water you can just uh, take and unscrew that and have all that uh, dirty debris just flush right out when the rain is over and instead of connecting on top going over we've done it down below uh, again these barrels being flipped over and I'll show you a couple over here that aren't being used this is the top and what we've done is flip these upside down so you can see the bungs here where Actually, in the middle, there's threaded screw for a one-inch uh, nipple, and then I use three-quarter-inch PVC to connect them underneath, and then to join together and uh, put a, a boiler valve there so where you can use the water and it can uh, start coming out. So works uh, pretty nifty. I'll try to go in with you and see if we can see a picture of how that's connected. So, so again, uh, this is how I've connected these two, incorporating different designs, and this this pipe here then would be the overflow um, for both. So, um, and then simply I've taken some landscape fabric and uh, tie strapped here, so it wouldn't let the bugs come in, and yet but water can go through. So. Uh, and then just kind of gave a little bucket down here for it to catch into. Haven't had a good rainfall yet since it's been installed, so uh, anxious to see how that's all going to fill up so quick. And again, this bench, very heavy duty with the 6 by 6s so I'm hoping to actually uh, replace these with some 50 gallon barrels and, and move these 30s on. But uh, I hope this uh, helps and maybe gives ideas to some others who've kind of contemplated this without using uh, the screen on top because um, with this design this will actually allow me to 
uh, get these barrels full at actual 30 gallons because the bottom uh, filling up to the top there won't be any way for it to you know put in a pipe here on the side and going over so that would only allow you to go so far this will get the full capacity of both barrels yet vented and uh, also mosquito free so hope that helps any comments uh, suggestions uh, anything you can provide here that would be uh, appreciated and we'll get back to you thank you